Hello everyone, and finally we are here with a long evaded tour. Um, yeah, a bit of change of plans. We are now on Monday, not on Sunday, but uh, for those of you carefully reading the overly big text on my latest video, do know that there's a reason why it is Monday. I've got a guest with me. Hello, Bo. Hello. There you are. So <laughs> I'm sorry for delaying your video. No, don't worry. It's all fine. I was, I was pretty funny, though. We were just checking in uh, and, and like we had kind of an appointment made already and I was recording the episode. And during the recording, you wrote me and I was like, ah, OK, I'm just going to put the text on top now. That's okay. <laughs> uh, that was good. Um, so, good. so, yeah, that's But cool. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, I'm really happy that you're here. So I really wanted to do <laughs> this um, together because like, as I always say, like tours, Doing tours is always fun when you have someone who hasn't seen it before. And that's the good thing. You don't know this project, right? Yeah. Ah, okay. I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm still here. I okay. have a little bit of a delay. But um, <laughs> yeah, I, no, I was just going to say as well, like, I think um, it's also really nice right now to, to do these kind of videos because obviously I can't visit an actual zoo. So I'm even more excited to see, you know, a planet zoo zoo built yeah. by you. Um, I like rhymed four times, which is very yeah. impressive. Would you like but, to rap um, again? <laughs> no, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> okay, before we start, okay, so that's kind of cool because it's a very unusual zoo. We already joked in the episode that this might be potentially only a Disney that could build a zoo because it's <laughs> essentially it's on the rooftop on a skyscraper. You might oh. be able to tell that this is inspired by the Singapore one, the uh, Marina Bay Sands one, mm. uh, but it's kind of converted into a South American hotel idea. Awesome. Or whatever. And uh, just a little hint, all these buildings around here <gasps> that kind of mimic a city are sent in by people watching this series. So by community oh, cool. members. That's so cool. We will also see all the names up there. There's a little memorial garden we are going to visit. Oh, and, I'm already uh, about to cry. <laughs> yeah, it's so cool. Like, I was really blown away by the amount of people that sent them in. I needed to, I wanted to make the city more dense, but uh, to yeah. keep the FPS somewhat okay, uh, I just needed to make it a bit more uh, open. It's like a very modern city, okay? It's uh, oh. keeping some space for some foliage and stuff. But yeah, let's just move toward uh, the actual zoo. Um, I just scrapped in so much foliage here, so maybe we just see some foliage on, oh, on the this road. Tree. Yeah, we need to. Oh, this one is also sent in by the community. Yeah. I know. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this I've seen some so stuff good. on the yeah. workshop, but I'm just so blown away by it uh, looks so cool the planet the... community's yeah. creativity all the time. My God. Yeah, I really needed this today. Oh, yes. Yeah. Bamboo sticks. Oh my lord. Bamboo is the new most versatile piece in the game. I tell you. The all right, so good, isn't it? It's um, incredible. You can do it for everything. <laughs> it can be bamboo, it can be wood, it can be metal, it can be everything. Yay! Ah, look at that. Um, by the way, size-wise, this might be a little bit too big, but it's okay. I think it's okay. I love it. Oh god, it's so good. Uh, we're just gonna it looks so realistic. The... Yeah, it's. I think it's. It's still okay. It's still within the boundaries of a semi-realistic build. Um, but on top, it's all ah. a bit more realistic. Um, so yeah, this is the entrance area. For the did you shape guards. it like this as well? You did this one, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I did. This is like everything oh my from god. here I made. Like uh, this, this entire lake over here with the fountains and stuff and yeah um so we're gonna go in and now we're just gonna move in quickly uh, whoops where we go there we go and this is like the little entrance area where we have to take the elevator obviously yeah. <laughs> um and now let me just quickly say we're gonna just jump into the elevator and i'm gonna cut this because um you want to see something now let's just move in boom <laughs> this is the um staircase of death <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna quickly move up and then I'm gonna cut this to the elevator again because that's <laughs> super this ugly. Awesome. But <laughs> if it was uh, if it was made of, of burgers, it would be like my very first planet coaster blueprint called Burger <laughs> Staircase to Hell. <laughs> exactly. Where are we yeah. going? Oh my lord. Burger this Staircase is... to Hell. Oh, this is so crazy. I mean my, my people in this zoo have an awesome stamina, I tell you. For all of them, they are up in the sky, they deserve it. So Oh my gosh. So do you for spiraling up like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, no, Getting seasick. Okay, let's play. Bing! Now we are upstairs. So uh, <laughs> this was taken. That was the a elevator. great elevator ride. Yeah, yeah that was I awesome, it. wasn't it? Super cool. Yeah, high yeah. speed. Love it. 
Yeah, it was awesome. And uh, it's very, it's also pretty safe. And all the people up here, they have an awesome stamina, I can tell you. Uh, for those yep, people yep. who know the series, they know that there actually is a very weird staircase in there. Um, at the beginning, I planned to really make this um, all themed and, and build this, but I started doing this and I was like, no, I'm not going to do this. It, I, no, so many pieces, so many spirals. Uh uh, that's too much. So I, I kept with the idea of an elevator. And let's be honest, we all would take the elevator, right? Yes. All right, so we move in. This is where you're greeted, and this is Sky Gardens. Uh, there you go. Oh, I must uh, put the... Oops, sorry. I'm just going to adjust the sound because it's very loud. E -e 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 audio. Audio. Here we go. There we go. Because we all want to hear the bow. There we go. So let's move up again. Wait, I'm going to try so you don't see too much. <laughs> uh, wait, where am I? Ah, there we go. I'm gonna take her. Take it, come. Here we go. Okay, here we are. Back again. Awesome. So, this is the entrance, as you can see. And this is yeah. Sky Gardens. Now, let's go in and have a little look. Um, because you can see, we are now greeted with a wonderful little sign on the bottom, which resembles that wonderful hotel. Wow. There you go. And right in front of us, there is the zoom map already. So, it's now up to you to decide which route we take, but this is the Ooh. zoom map. And you can see also peafowls already roaming around. They move freely <gasps> in yep. this area. Oh my god! Look at that! It's taking so a little cute. bit of a little fountain here, a sprinkler. I just found that the animals in this game, they just love sprinklers. That's yes, like the most OP thing ever, but it's great. They just love Who it. Who doesn't love a sprinkler? Come oh, on. Oh, I love it. I mean... <laughs> Remember those days when we were small? I had this, like, when I was going to the football club at the very beginning. Like, I was super small, like, three, two years old. I don't know. And there was, like, ten minutes of playing football. And then, like, the, I think 30 minutes of just running through the sprinkler. Like, all the same. Every day exactly. the same. But it was so cool. It was so good. Oh. I love it. Yeah. This all right. Is so, you, you want me to choose where to go? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, first of all, I have to compliment you on your amazing map skills. I know you like a good map. <laughs> yeah. Maps uh, are very important. As we know. I know. <laughs> uh, I think we should go left. Left. And save, yeah, save the Jaguars for last. Yeah. Okay, good. So we're going to turn left. So, yeah. actually, oh, that's cool. We can start with the Memorial Garden then. Um, so <gasps> this is on the yeah. right-hand side is the Memorial Garden. Left-hand side is the Komodo Dragon Habitat. Oh, look at that. They're both already chilling uh, oh next gosh. to the little lake. There you go. This is the little Komodo Dragon Habitat. Uh, it's just enjoying, so enjoying the time in the sun. There we go. Okay, and on the right hand side, this is um, part of the peafowl habitat and uh, yet at the same time, the little dedication area. I'm just going to move forward and show you all the names. So, we have the likes of Haribo, this madman. Haribo Yay. really, he kind of overtook any, every one of us and he's the master of using pieces right now. So, yes. if he would build the Cologne, the, uh, Cologne Cathedral, he would not take 66,000, he would 666,000 pieces. Haribo <laughs> is insane. He's crazy. Uh, then we've got Robstar. He's also been contributing a lot lately. So it's really Hi, cool. Hi, Then we have, furthermore, we have Bobby Rossi. Also, Bobby by Rossi. The way, I don't know if I, like, I took the Steam names, guys. So please, if you're in the Discord or somewhere else with another name, I'm sorry, but it was easier to take the Steam names because they're linked to the blueprint. So sorry yes. if that one. Yeah, we've got Atomic. Actually, there's a mm -hmm. TM missing, but I couldn't make like a... Uh, um, race TM, so we left it there. So Atomic. Uh, we've got uh, Club Guns. I love this name, though. Um, <laughs> then we have also Ludo 0704. And then let's continue. We also have, who's that? Um, Benjua. Uh, ben I think it's Jua, right? Benjua. We've got Guess? LDP. We've got Ria Petrikova. Ria is also there. Koli. Did, uh, Koli, there's just an A missing. Then it would be Koali. I, I know. <laughs> this is good. Um, who's that over this there? The garden is lovely. And it's just a little bit of a shade area because it's oh, pretty it's hot so up here. Nice. So, yeah, we need a bit of shade. Um, so we have Kalkpfad. It's actually, I think it's a Dutch name, isn't it? It's a Dutch word, yeah. It's a Dutch word. Okay, so Kalk. What does it mean? 
Uh, I'm not really sure how to like translate that, but kalk is like chalk and plat is like a plate or a disc. Ah, okay, yeah. I guess, yeah. Ah, okay, understood. Yeah, I, I think then I know the, yeah, I know also the German word for it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we've got Deska here, then we have on the other side Agnieszka Staninova. Stan oh god, I cannot pronounce the last name, so I left it off. Agnieszka. <laughs> Agnieszka is here as well. And there's also another one in the front. Who's that? I don't know who that was. Uh, this was Ipon. Yeah, Ipon as well. So yeah, oh. all the names, who, uh, these people all contributed with their skyscrapers to this wonderful build. So nice. Yeah, in the middle. Well done. Bit uh, sun recreation area here. You can take some uh, seats here if you want. Um, but yeah, this on the left hand side here is a bit more for the peoples. You can hear them in the back. Oh, God. Oh, no, you cannot hear them, but I can hear them <laughs> screaming all the time. Um, and I sneakily hid the entrance to the habitat here in the back. So it seems almost like they move around free. Uh, I didn't want to make this like a habitat, but this is like the whole zoo is their habitat. Um, I think I love I love the fact that you can do this in the game. I love it. So, yeah, so um, if you want food, Bo, we can take some food here on the left hand side. With hey, I'm, I'm always up for a snack, you know, I know me. I know. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. So we've got some fruits here. Look at that. We've got a little very bit healthy, of very healthy, free, healthy foods. Yeah. And then mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. we've got Pets Fantastic, just a memento, yeah. an information yeah. kiosk, our oh, balloons, actually. Oh, I'm such a clever person. I put food here, but only some souvenirs all over the... Yeah, no, you cannot grab any food here. But we will get to a restaurant eventually. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we have... Um, this is like an open gallery. I like the idea to have like an open gallery here because the tree gives us enough shade. And then, you know, it wouldn't be too sticky and hot in here if you stay here. So yeah, it's, it's open. You can... If it rains, you get wet. But if not, you've got some free breeze of air but let's just imagine you could close the roof if it rains but yeah that's a little so nice little grabby area for some some goods can we that's grab nice. like a grab a smoothie or something yeah sure let's go just, let's just go while one. we walk you know yeah what, what kind of flavor do you like mm, i i'm i like my forest fruits and i like so my green. mango passion mango fruit. Ah, okay, so that would be the let's yellow one. Let's go for that yellow one. Yeah, yeah. That's the yellow one. Let's okay, take we, take that. The, we take that one. All right. Okay. Thank you. All right, and there you go. Take the yellow one. Awesome. So Bo has her drink, so we can continue. Um, and before we go to what is the crocodile and tiger area in the back, on the right-hand side, we have my family members, the llamas. Oh, I'm gonna Ooh. move a little bit quicker forward here. There you go. Look at them. I'm running. I'm so excited. To see <laughs> exactly. <gasps> but don't uh, uh, spit over some of your uh, drink. You know, smoothie. Be careful. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm enjoying that. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, the llamas over here. They have a little temple, fallen temple built here, and in the middle there is their bedding, and they love it. They love it. They're just always there. Wait, is there actually? Wait, we just sneakily go in here. Look at that. Just enjoying the little little sleep in the in the shade here. Oh, I love it. I can't blame them. No, I would t totally do this as well. If so, I yeah. was a llama, I would just be chilling all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Don't bother me. I just want to live on a mountain. Just let me chill. Yeah, and I'm some. Happy. And then just wait. Some people come by, get you some smoothies, right? Some fruits. Yeah. Just get some. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Yeah, that's exactly how you would do it. That's want life. To live. Yeah, that's life. <laughs> <laughs> live long quarantine uh, as a llama. That's good. <laughs> Exactly. Great. So yeah, on the left hand side, we have the wonderful big cat, the tiger, the Bengal <gasps> tiger. It's moving towards the back, but don't worry, we can catch it because there's also like an indoor viewing we are going to see Cute. in a second. Let's move forward. Yeah, this is now the one end of the zoo. So we have a little bit of a fountain here. You can sit down. You have some more viewing opportunities here on the left hand side for the Bengal tiger. There's like a, a screen here, but I tried to, you know, the further you get to the back, I, I granted them some more privacy. Some so privacy, the animals yeah. Can go in, but let's just move inside this area. So I am like once again so impressed with like your use of different materials and how you, like, how you um oh my god I'm just spacing on the word how you like mesh up the the walls with the the rocks and like let them clip through each other and stuff. Oh yeah. The collagen, there we go. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what is the word? Uh, yeah, it just looks so good. It looks like so naturally built and like all the materials work for the area. I just love it. It's yeah, so thanks. This is really, I, it was a cool challenge because it was, I wanted to totally go into a bit of a different uh, way. Mm. I wanted to be a bit more modernness and, and not really, you know, uh, the the wonderful thing about the South America pack is really it gives you the, the temple pieces and stuff like that, which is kind of the obvious thing to go to. 
But I wanted to blend this in with a very modern approach. So something, how mm. could you use all these new pieces in a very modern approach? I think it's it just works great. So if we go to the left hand side, you have a sneaky little view inside the sleeping area of the Bengal tiger, for example. And this is where I also use a lot of the new pieces, but also some of the old pieces and you can see nice. you just go in. There you go. This is a little cave. And obviously we have um, some double sided glass here for the oh, look at that. The tiger is playing outside. There you go. And the other one is all the way in the back getting some. Let's wait. Maybe it comes over to us. Let's see. The big tiger. I love cute, them. Cute, I'm, st cute. I'm still such a big fan of the Bengal tiger in the game. I love it. Oh, absolutely. I love it so much. They're so chunky. They are. They are. I really love them. Oh, does it really do it for us? Look at that. Oh my god. This yeah. looks lovely. Oh my oh god. My this god. looks insane. Hello. Hello, kitty. How are Hi, you precious. doing? Oh, the other one too. It's like, hello. Yes. I hear there's a Tejit cam. I am <laughs> Oh, look at that. Oh, oh cute. Oh, no, no. Okay, yeah. that's enough. Okay, yeah, I posed for you. <laughs> that's fine. I'm going to go again. Yeah, okay. Did you, you take your photo? Mail. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What a poser. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, cute. <laughs> oh, look at that one. Oh, this cute. is also posing for us. Look at the... Hello. The clock. There you go. Oh, I love this. It's getting some fresh air. Reef. Yeah, so this one is a very special habitat. One of the last one I built and mm -hmm. I got some inspiration from some new zoo habitat ideas online. Um, oh god, I love this website called uh, Zoo Chat. This is just one of the coolest websites ever. Uh, nice. So much inspiration. And yeah, this is one of these um, things I did. So you have the underwater viewing over here. But if we go upstairs, let me just show you. Oh, I love it when the sun is peeking through like that. Look at, oh, I love it. <laughs> just like, oh, let me go oh, it's out. it's beautiful, isn't out. it? Yeah, it's so good. Oh, the lighting in the game. God. <laughs> um, yeah, so you go up here and look at this. We are now in this raised area. And now you have a wonderful oh. view down into the habitat. So if you are in the gallery down there, you have the underwater viewing. But from above, you can really see the habitat emerging and like you know how it is from over here wonderful and then they have their shelter to the right hand side here they have their privacy going on in the back so it's yeah we don't need to very worry. nice yeah and if you i think it's not good for people that are sick of heights because as you can see we <laughs> are way up in the sky now uh, yeah it's even more crazy if you turn here to the left hand side look at look at that <gasps> wow this is so cool right isn't it this is so awesome. good. You can see all in the back. By the way, this is where we can grab some food, but you still have your smoothie. Um, oh, wait, we can oh, just no, get no, you. Oh, no, no, I'm finished. Oh, yeah, yes, do you want a donut? donut. Oh, I yes, knew it. <laughs> okay, so uh, which one? I'll have, ooh, okay, okay. Uh, I'll go for something with uh, sprinkles. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll just just go for like the, the, the just chocolate sprinkles one. Chocolate I'll sprinkles one. Okay, yeah, cool. love what are wonderful it's here in the gallery. Let's take one. Oh, perfect. Okay. That's you what I wanted. One. Awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna take a taco with me because I love tacos. Yes, very well. nice, very nice. Take that one. All right, so I'm. Good, good. I'm going. Yeah, I need to make sure that I can still speak and not have all the food in my mouth the whole time. But <laughs> fine. <laughs> Great. Okay. Yeah. Um. We can also grab some cash if we want. <laughs> if we need more food later, we have some more cash now. But yeah. yeah, this is the race up area, and um, yeah, this is this is the little area above the Bengal tiger. Just some low foliage stuff and just little foliage to make sure there's something. God, it's crowded over here. People, social distancing. Hello, what's going on? <laughs> so, um, yeah, no, we could just go back around this corner. We have a little bit more of a like temple wall down here. And uh, this is, by the way, just some backstage area. All over, we have some backstage areas. And Very nice. yes, it's all designed and it's all built. Let me just show you one thing. Um, I wouldn't I, have expected otherwise. Uh, I don't know why I do this stuff, but yeah. You even have some preparation area over here, you know, some food you can make down here and then you have some uh, kind of uh, little um, facility for the staff members over here. You can see the staff members just using it as it should. Yeah, so everything Very is done. Good. We also have uh, a bigger, whoops, a bit of backstage here. Now we can, and this is the idea of the zoo, we can take this route now to the other side because now we have this one side done. Uh, I'm just gonna, no, I don't want to go through the planter here. That's not, you know, that's not what you should do. There you go. Oh, look at this. The, these two are still chilling over there. Doing their little tongue thing. Cute. I do have to say, the Komodo dragons are one of the coolest animals in the game. Because, I don't know who of your designers did this, but holy crap. The texture on that one is <laughs> insane. 
like all yeah. the details and stuff and all the little scales and oh my god it's so cool and I'll, i just i just love that one also it really when it moves you can really see this this kind of iconic heavy weight uh, moving forward of these animals i really I have to say, I'm a big fan of those. I don't know why I didn't use them prior to this build, but I'm I'm a big fan. Yeah, they also have like their prey sack to fight with here, uh, all in the shade. I don't want these animals to get burned, but yeah. So it's all, Very nice. all nice and tidy here. And now we come to the one and only red tape here. Uh, <gasps> Yay! Is it, is it over here? There we go. Is it there? Is this chilling over here? Why are you looking? What are you looking at, guys? Hmm. Oh, I think they just find this. Maybe they're um, disappointed. Yeah, yeah. Or well, maybe they just like this wonderful bamboo wall here so much. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, but this is, uh, yeah, this is the bird tapia habitat on this right hand side. Oh, there. Oh, back. I see you in the back. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. I can, I can nice. spot it. Um, yeah, it's kind of incorporated into this side of the um, habitat. Oh, there's another one just in front of us. Look at that. It's just laying down. Cute. Us. Look at this. Hello, hello. Are you doing good? Oh, it's not, ooh, actually, <laughs> here's a little trick I did. Um, this is the um, this is the forage box of them, and I sunk it down into the ground, but I, wanted, uh, I also have hidden a little sleeping pad below that ground. So Aww. they actually lay down in this little forage box. I found this cool because this looks almost like a little bit of a muddy thing where they would sleep. So this yes, is yeah. how, how they... Yes, yeah. It's so nice and texture, doesn't it? Yeah, it's so cool. Yeah. It's, it's adding That's another awesome. layer. That's awesome. So you've got enrichment, sleeping, and area for them in once. That's how cool. you maximize. Oh, this is, by the way, this is a custom-made tree over here. This is uh, <gasps> like a little bit of blooms and flowers in. Yeah. Some growing uh, this not this new South American stuff is really cool to build some some lovely little tropical trees. Um, yeah. So, uh, Bo, are you still are you still chewing on your donut or you are ready for some new food? Oh, what Chew is that question? My, on my donut. Okay. Okay. So I'm just still going up. Oh, because... uh, really quickly to the uh, to the producer um, and the artist who worked most on the Komodo dragons is called Chiche. Ah, okay. He's awesome. <laughs> awesome, yeah. Just Big... giving him a shout out. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. That's needed. Can you just repeat it? Because I had a little uh, cut out of your voice. What was the name his, again? His name is Chiche. Chiche. Okay, yeah. awesome. So a uh, round of applause for Chiche because the, these <laughs> ones are incredible. Look at that. Yay. Good they boys. Like they are so good. Yeah, um, this is another little area because we need food. Uh, we have uh, Monsieur Frita and Galpi Rex uh, soda over here. Oh, awesome. you know what? Not being able to travel home at the moment, I am like really missing my Dutch fries. Yeah. So I will take a Monsieur Frita uh -huh. with uh, mayonnaise and peanut sauce and onions. Oh my yum, god, yum, this yum. is great. Yes. Yum, yum, yum. So good. Let's take it. <laughs> oh, this is so good. <laughs> now I'm hungry. It's my lunch break, you know. It's I also know. your lunch break. What are we even doing? I here? Know. <laughs> This is kind I of like talk. to hang out with you. It's yeah. okay. We are it's just, worth it. We're just torturing ourselves now. Just to <laughs> talk about the food. And after the recording, we are both like heading towards our food. The fridge yeah. is not safe anymore. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. So uh, this is now with a hungry stomach. We just go down. No, we're not. We have our fries. Okay. Let's go. Let's go down here. And to the left hand side, because there's another viewing area and I hope that the animals are uh, nice enough to be here. But most of the time they're on the other side of the habitat. Yes, mm -hmm. as I was actually thinking. So this would be theoretically is the giant ant eater habitat, um, which also nice. practically it is. But they always hang around with their lovely friends, the capuchin monkeys. Oh, look at that. Oh, there's one so cute. running around because this is a... Um, Habitat that is split into two, but in fact it's one. So I made like a right. wonderful shared habitat of both. And I tried to make this side for the giant anteaters and the other one for the capuchin monkeys. But the anteaters are so much best friends with the monkeys that are always on the oh. other side. <laughs> they love it. Okay, now Cute. we come to one of my favorite parts of this entire build. And this is that bridge over here. Look at this bridge. This is so cool because we have obviously a camel hidden in here. There you go, a camel. Uh, but it's so much like you have all the shades now in this wonderful triangular shape on top of that one. And then, once you're on the bridge, you can look to the right hand side and have this wonderful infinity pool-esque view. Look at that. Wow. Love it. And that is amazing. Is there one of the tapirs down here? For Yeah, look at that, sprinkler. As I said, sprinkler. They're always chilling by the sprinklers. So nice. Lovely. 
So that's it. And on the left hand side, let's just move to the left hand side. This is what I was, was just saying. This is the uh, Capuchin Monkey habitat. A lot of broken down yeah. temple and uh, a lot of climbing possibilities, as you can see. Just, just climbing all the way, playing with some boxes. And yeah, I love these ones. These little monkeys are so cool, but they're also so active. That looks. Just... Oh. <laughs> Alrighty. So, what's that? What's that? Huh. Just chilling there. Okay, now uh, let's just go here. And look at that. We even have like a little waterfall here. Little Cute. Pond. I love waterfalls. Yeah, especially now with the next heat wave coming. I need one in my mm. garden, actually. <laughs> have you heard that? I was like super shocked when I just uh, I checked the news yesterday and there were like weather forecasts for next week. And I was like, yeah, 29 degrees, 30 degrees. I was like, wait, Whoa. where? Wait, where? What are you talking of? Yeah, in the western part of Germany. I'm like, um, okay. <laughs> oh my god i'm not prepared <laughs> hello <laughs> uh, yeah well whatever okay let's um hmm how do we move on okay let, let me just first show you my wonderful leaf terrace this is uh, it. another <gasps> one with the overlook of uh, the city let me just move on look. pretty look at these. does the city have a name not yet it's sky gardens Ooh, people can comment okay. why not or you can give yeah. it a name if you want to. Oh, no, 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 no. It should be it should be from your community. <laughs> All right. Let's see what they come up with the name. But yeah, um, this this one over here, I'm going to show this later on above from above when we are not anymore in Tajik Cam. But this um, area over here is shaped like a leaf. So if you look from the sky, this looks like a leaf. As you can My see, heart can take it. <laughs> yeah, just these white lines are like the uh, structure in there. I love it. That's so cool. And so uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, on the left hand side, uh, more fruit, uh, oh? more, more yes, drinks, yes, more yes. stuff, always. People... Probably a drink after those salty fries. Yeah, this is important, right? Mm. Which one do you want? Mm -hmm. We've got a Galpi soda or we have a Pip Shot smoothie. You want another uh, smoothie? Ooh. Well, let's do a soda. Otherwise, we have to cut in line for all those people and I feel bad. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Okay. Yeah, let's yeah. That soda. Yeah, we'll just grab the soda. Just, there we go. Lovely. Some Thank energy. you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> all for free. Let's open a my special... can. Special bow, special bow episode, all for free. You've of got a course. free pass. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> I own this place, you know, that's why I'm open. <laughs> all right, <laughs> now it's time for the Jaguar house. And that is one of my favorites at uh, like at all, like at, of all times. I don't know. It took ages to build, but I'm just very happy. And this was obviously uh, during the period of time where Lady and I tried to get a Black Panther. Um, and I had plenty of time to build because we were breeding and breeding and breeding. <laughs> Uh, okay, that sounds wrong, but I i mean, we were breeding Black Panthers, so just for that. Nice. Uh, yeah, this is the Black Panther or Jaguar house, if you want to call it. You have got some tour guides over here, if you want. Um, a little bit of a seating area, but now, as we move in, this is, I'm so ready. this is the first look into the habitat. I'm not sure where they are, where they're moving around, but we have plenty of opportunities to watch into the habitat, so... They, oh, look at this! There's the family already! This is our friend Lena, oh. the Black Panther, and the I'm small one. cry. <laughs> oh, look at them! Yeah, they're just having a good time together here. Oh, they're so cute! They are, I love them. The, the baby Jaguars are so good. Okay, let's oh move up gosh. so I get a better view. A better view of them. Uh, yay! There we, we don't go. want to disturb them. Oh my no, gosh. look at that. Beautiful. So um, I don't know how the small ones are called, but she's called Lena. Um, mm -hmm. This is my first Black Panther I had in the game. So this, oh. is, this is the first one. This is Lena. She's still with us and still uh, getting uh, a good time in here. Extra special. Yeah. yeah, extra special. And if we move up, you can see... Um, um, okay, never mind then. Uh, I think the people were hungry, so we have some fresh meat for them here as oh, well. Oh no! <laughs> oh oh gosh! gosh. Uh, one of our keepers um, had a had a weird idea, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if we if we just uh, look into here, we have another viewing gallery. Look at that. This is um, the Huge. above area for the animals. You can mm -hmm. you can have a look in here. There is a bit more privacy for them. This is like one side glass. So yeah, the animals can just go there from the inside. And if you stand here, you can see this is the traversable area to the outside area, because obviously I give them wow. a lot of space and they can move also to the outside. Oh, Lena is also taking Hello. it. Wait, she was just <laughs> running around here. There she, look at that. There She's she is. just Cute. going to the oh outside. And Good obviously place. this is all inside. Like I managed to build yeah. this all as a building and it is 
all fitting in. I don't know how exactly I made this, but it works. And uh, how incredible, dude! Oh God, this I love this it. It's beautiful. Just, it, I think it really t kind of um, you know gives you the vibe of a of an indoor house, right? So yeah, uh, as you would see it in a real zoo. Obviously, also the um, security stuff everywhere. <laughs> so important you know we don't want anyone to hurt Nina or vice versa which she never yeah. would be doing but yeah um then yeah you have also the entrance to the backstage area so if we just mm -hmm. go in here there's also an obviously the backstage area for all the people uh, wow. working in here they even have like a little view inside the habitat so you can check if there's check anything if they're okay, if they're okay. Oh. and you can also if you are in this wonderful uh, <gasps> recreation room you have a view no. into their actual privacy area you can see if okay, they're doing good awesome. and um, yeah if, if you need to call someone you can just see and just go over and, and help the animals if needed and then what an awesome idea then oh, you gosh. can go out and obviously there's also an area out here where you yeah. can go. And let me just sneakily show you another one. We just need to take the route through the garden. There is a very much a private area for our oh. staff members. Look at that. They even that's have their brilliant. own vending machine. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. So they get their extra special view. Look at that. They can chill here. And it's, as you can actually they deserve it. not here, but I can tell you there's a lot less noise going on now. So you can really have mm. a good break here. Just just sit and relax before you need to get back, with, back to work. So, yeah, they I mean, deserve it. Um, yeah, I always feel like you have to treat also your staff members right, and then just you know make sure that they have some some good areas as well. Also, custom made lanterns over here. Um, wow. Lamps in. Uh, oh, we can actually have a look at uh, nighttime later on as well because I actually went the extra mile and do, did all the lighting. Oh, of course she was, did. Uh, God, but this was yeah was fun but pain. <laughs> yeah, this is the outside area by the way. We haven't taken nice. a look at that one. This is uh, the outside area for our Black Panther. It's got waterfall to play with. Um, yeah, just a little pool to swim in Gorge. if it wants to, and yeah, just overall a little bit of a nice area to the outside. Very nice. Oh, there's a small one. No, ah, don't run away. Okay, never mind. I'm just gonna quickly <laughs> go in to show you the inside as well. So this area is in special uh, because I was checking a bit of a real life examples and this is mm. how you would do it in real life zoos as well because you can close that door. So if there's like oh, bad, right. bad weather and stuff, they just move a door in here and they still have a huge amount of space inside the habitat. Mm -hmm. But you, you wouldn't have the issue that, you know, um, they go outside and, you know, might be even be hurt by stuff flying around or stuff like that. And so, yeah, this is a little bit of extra bit of realism. Oh, look at that, Bo. They just come for you. Look at that. Hi, Small baby. Ones. Come and hang out with me. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. I yeah, honestly right? think this might be my favorite habitat from you so far. Oh, thanks. This is yeah, like quite an honor. So order. good. So good. Yeah, I love it as well, as I said. It's oh, so... hello, baby. Look at oh, them. They're God. so small. They're like even disappearing in the tall grass. It's so cool. Oh, oh I'm so emotional. I love them. <laughs> Let's follow them down here. Look at that. Cute. Just zoom them. It'll be nice next year when everything is like safe again to, to do a nice big community meetup and see everyone. Oh yeah, that would be so lovely. I'm it's really very much needed. <laughs> yeah, it is. We need our doses of planet community. We need exactly. It. We do need that. Look at that. I love it. Are you going for the pumpkin? Yeah, sure you are, right? Oh, look at that. This is a huge pumpkin for you too. Hey, this is, <laughs> this is some uh, good... Oh, I love the animation. Look at the paw. It is so good. Mm, yum, yum, yum. So cute. Enjoy your pumpkin. Enjoy it. Right. And now let's go up here again. I think I can. Can I just move to the left? No, I cannot. Can I? Oh, just a little bit. Okay, I just need to <laughs> zoom in. Look at that. This is the this is the backside area here, which was the privacy. There are some sprinklers here. There's also some more um, enrichment items hidden in the back mm. so that they go here as well. And yeah, if we move here, you can also have a last glimpse into the indoor area again. So yeah, I... I just want to build a lot with different um, height levels, some elevation, and yeah, I think this habitat has so much to offer for them, but also for the guests. Uh, I just think it's, it's the perfect combination of an indoor and outdoor habitat. Nice. I quite like it. So yeah, yeah, the last one we can look at from this side is again the capuchin monkey. There's one grabbing some food here. Look at that. The small one lovely. getting some lovely fruits. <laughs> but yeah, this one especially is very cool because they used the climbing so much in this habitat. It's so cool yeah. to see them running around and it's like a, a broken temple built here. 
Yeah, just very overgrown, very lush. I just... Very pretty. I really like that one. But yeah, yeah. now we are uh, kind of closing off uh, the tour by the last little bit we have. So this is my bolt I designed for the giant anteater one. You can have a little glimpse in here if you uh, want. And this is also... Is there one in the back? I think I... Yeah, that, no, that's also a couple of she monkey. Where are <laughs> the anteaters though? Let's go for a hunt. I want to see one. Um, oh yeah, another backstage area here. We have another slidable door. Mm -hmm. You can just close it up, then you go in. See, this is where you can prepare the food. And on the left hand side, this is... Oh, All of the monkeys. There is one of them. There is one. There is one here. Hi, friend. This is so cool. Just eating some eggs. Yeah, I think it's drinking some water from, yeah. from down here. So yeah, mm -hmm. having Cute. this and... Ooh, we just go underwater. Oh, oh there's, one there's swimming. another one. <laughs> swimming. Hiding in the bamboo. So cool. It's almost like in a real zoo, right? You have to go and search for the stuff. You have to search for the animals. Yeah, this is now, you get an extra special glimpse inside the habitat here. Um, again, Lovely. very overgrown. You have a lot of stuff here. And uh, yeah, the little monkeys are loving it as well. They like to travel from one side to the other. As a, oh my lot. <laughs> I love it when they stand like this and just like looking around. It's giving me a bit of a vibe of a mare cat. Hmm. <laughs> Cute. There you go. Okay, so let's just finish off that tour here. There you go. To the left hand side, and we are back at the entrance area. I can see there are some peoples. Some is good, like the whole family is. I know. The snow feeder. Um, actually, they can use these houses, by the way. I made them in a size that they can actually use it. They can go in and, and lay down. Oh, nice. And show them there. Very okay. cute. The peoples oh. are looking so beautiful as well. Yeah. But the sound. The sound bow. <laughs> I don't want to have a people in my okay. garden. Yeah. You're gonna, oh, no. I know, but it's they're so loud. Uh, yes, they are, yeah. All right, so this is it. Now we are back at the entrance. Look at that. This, awesome. is, this is the entrance. Now we can leave Tejit Cam, and I'm going to show you this whole thing now from the normal camera. Let's just zoom out. Oops. Yay. There you go. Look at that. Wow. This is what Oh, you look just... at your little leaf. There. Yeah, there's the leaf. That's so cute. That's kind of cool, right? Uh, I, I, yeah, I just it's like awesome. that you just repainted the uh, table so that it looks uh, almost like a little bit of a more texture ish yeah. going on. So, really, really cool, I guess. Uh, but yeah, so I'm. It's so spacious. Like, it's incredible. Right. From, from going around, it doesn't seem to be that cramped. Yeah, right? exactly. It's so cool. I, I love it. And also, like, how overgrown it is. You can actually get you know, some cool angles in here if you just tilt the camera like that. Look at this. It looks, I think it's really cool because it, so cool. it kind of translates the vibe of it really cool. You have some backstage, yeah. by the way, also here, like, to the yeah. side, some cooling elements and stuff. Um, yeah. This is also always super cool. The community gives you so many hints and stuff, you know, that also some realism aspects that I would never come up with. But they are just like, hey, why not do this and this and this? It's so cool. Awesome. So yeah, uh, let's change the time of day and make it night. Yeah. There you go. Late night. Oh. Wait a second. There you go. Look at that. Uh... I made the illumination a little bit more subtle. Like I, mm. I didn't want to make the habitats lit because the animals, I think the animals need some privacy at some point. So I'm yeah. sure that we only have some very subtle lighting over here. So you can see uh, across oh, the pathways. Beautiful. Some mm. of the planters are lit, as you can see here. I love those bulbs, really nice. Yeah, I love them too. And they make some really cool indirect lighting. It's so cool. Yeah, the fountain yeah. obviously needs to be. Oh, look at that. Oh, my heart. Oh, I yeah. This would be nice now, right? Just chilling in the hotel lobby at the evening, getting yes. some drinks. Oh, that would be so good. <laughs> Gives me some Gamescom vibes. Oh, my. Yeah, true. I'm also getting like a little bit of like weirdly Jurassic World vibes. Oh yeah, true. I mean, it's, yeah. it's kind of the Just modern. Just so lush and modern, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, totally. <gasps> totally. Very oh, we cool. also have to give uh, give props to Ricey again, because obviously that's Ricey's font here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, indoor is also lit, obviously. Look at that. Like, I love the underwater viewing in night. That's cool. Because it kind of, uh, kind of lits all the all the water so imagine there is a crocodile now swimming in here that would be kind of scary though then you can really tell the jurassic world vibes <laughs> with the, oh yeah with the croc just swimming around it is kind of scary like you know how how in some zoos you've got like aquariums and stuff mm -hmm. and um and sometimes they've got like really deep sea creatures in there and it's just black and like oh, yeah. you're like what what am i looking at it's just so like scary and eerie to 
kind of figure out what it is. Oh yeah, very oh, strange. I love that. From um, actually from Burger Zoo when we've been there last year yes, with, with exactly. the community, that was so cool because they have the special special mm. tank where it's actually made that way, so you cannot yes. see the backside because they have some cool lighting tricks going on, and it's yes. so scary when the sharks come swim to you and you just don't <laughs> see them, and it's really cool how they made this. Um, yeah, for sure. Yeah, look at that. Also, I made this little area really over here. Nice. Look at that. Oh, the lighting is so cool. It's so good. Yeah, you did a great job. And then the garden is also just very subtly lit, as you can see. All these mm. little um, oh, slates are lit so that yeah. you know, all the names pop through. But not too much. Like, I wanted to keep it fairly, fairly subtle. Some of the it walls is subtle. are lit and yeah, just like just like you. So you see something. The people have some light here, like all the way on the pathway. It's very crowded in the zoo. I, I don't. I, I think I forgot to just make sure. Popular. That we, yeah, it's, it's quite popular. <laughs> uh, I'm happy. Anyways, let's zoom out and just round uh, this off in daylight. Uh, the, the, the daylight. There you go. All right, Bo. So let me hear. What do you think of this one? Do you like uh, this zoo? Do you want to visit I again? Love it. I love it. I can't wait to come back. Like I said in the beginning, I think it's the perfect time for me to take a virtual tour. <laughs> um, just because I'm like really missing everyone and missing the community. And I just love seeing the creativity. And it's just so heartwarming to, to see like different takes on, on how to make zoos as well. Like I always am blown away by your ideas because you always, I always say it every video, but you always think outside the box. You're always coming from a different angle. And I'm like, you know, when is he gonna run out of ideas? And then he, you just aren't. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So it's just so cool to see what you guys have built together and, and see everyone's creativity. And yeah, I really love this. So nice. And I'm glad yeah. to hear as well from a from a Frontier perspective that you know, that you've been enjoying the, the new pieces and um, that it was useful and that you liked the new animals and that you got a Black Panther, of course, very <laughs> special. So yeah. Yeah. really really cool thank you so much for inviting me to see this no i'm really happy i'm really happy that it worked and we could do this tour together because i also <laughs> needed my b doses of bow yes uh, doing some stuff together again <laughs> i yeah. know more so please yeah please more and please let's open uh, and and kind of see each other again <laughs> so, i know please fingers uh, crossed yeah. everyone's safe and yeah hopefully soon we'll uh, we'll be in a, a more positive world yeah, that's true. Sure. But you know, it's very cool. I mean, now it's even more important that people share the passion and can, can have yeah. some stuff like that together. And I'm really happy and I am just always blown away by the amount of comments and, and people having so much positive things to say and that they enjoy the time. And I, I, I mean, I really hope that you guys enjoyed it also, that you feel happy that Bo was with us and we had a little bit of a nice tour. Um, yeah, just making it a bit more interesting also to listen to. It's almost like a, a, a Bo and Rudy podcast. So, <laughs> this Cast, is, uh, yes, or podcast. Yeah, that's uh, people, <laughs> asking, people are really asking for it. They're also asking us for a Koali Zoo podcast. Um, oh, yeah, very if they, nice. Yeah, but I, I don't know. <laughs> we, we just we already have our issues recording one episode a week. Yeah. Uh, it's so funny. No, it's actually, I have to say, it's, come. it's so good. I love it. It's so much fun always to do these recordings and one thing i really really love is how natural it became like at the beginning it was really weird always to do these recordings but now as this always became something so normal for us there is so much more space for really enjoying it you know just just doing this and have a good talk and i don't know it's just i love it i agree thank you so much for having me oh yeah i'm, I'm really happy thank you for being here <laughs> thank you that we could manage to squeeze that into our lunch breaks and now guys um to round it up this is now available for you guys in the workshop. So in case you want to have a tour yourself and just check it out, it's now in the workshop. The link is in the description below. And I need to I need to keep my track record. I The last 10 videos or so, I always remembered putting links in the description. You know, it's kind of the YouTuber thing. You always say it's in the description. It never is. But the last oh, 10 no. videos, the last 10 videos, I managed to do it. So uh, Good. yeah, um, it's there. And also tonight, guys, uh, you can catch me live uh, on that other platform. Uh, I'm going to do some live streaming from the Cemetery <laughs> Valley. Uh, you know the time, you know the location. I'm not allowed to say it, so <laughs> you know where to find <laughs> me. Uh, okay, so um, that's it. Bo, I really appreciated having you in. It was such a cool tour. I'm happy you liked yes. it. And um, yeah, usually I would ask what your favorite was, but you already said that the Jaguar Habitat was your favorite. Yeah, so. definitely. 
that's really thanks for having me and a big who five to everyone listening and watching as well yes right guys really nice. so let's let us know what you like the most about this project and this whole series and um yeah also let us know some questions in the comments down below as as bo will definitely re-watch this episode and check the comments as mm -hmm. well <laughs> <laughs> you can you can do this uh, and just ask some questions uh, say whatever you want to say about this project and then we're going to see each other in the next one until then, goodbye everyone and stay safe.